Chapter 8, The Big Speech. Peter was really nervous before his speech. I wouldn't let him look at the crowd. That would just make it worse. I'll be in the front row, I told him, with all your friends. Just pretend we're the only people there. Okay, Peter croaked. His voice sounded hoarse, meaning weak, and possibly even scratchy. I need more water, he told me, pointing at his throat. You've got, you've gone to the drinking fountain five times in ten minutes, I said. My throat is dry, Peter explained. Hurry, I said. The speeches are about to start. I waited until Peter got back. I gave him a hug and told him to relax. Then I sat down next to Adam and took notes. Speech notes. Anna, pretty dress, perfect hair, sounds confident, and phony. Ah. Promises. Use canned dollars to send cheerleaders to state competition. Play music during study hall. Use main bulletin board for teen fads and trends. Everyone applauded when Anna finished. Anna has a lot of power. Jenny talks tough, shakes her fist, gives everyone the Jenny Pinsky stare. Promises. Use, use soda can dollars for a class pizza party. School store should give paper and pencils for free. Everyone should get three warnings before getting detention. The crowd cheered and whistled for Jenny. We all knew she wouldn't be able to do any of the things she promised. We clapped because she was watching. Brad looks really cute. Promise, use cans for new football helmets with school logo. Brad's speech was short, but everyone loved it because everyone loves Brad. My stomach started to hurt when Peter walked out. I crossed my fingers and smiled. Peter didn't see me. He stared at his speech. I took more notes. Peter talks too quietly, microphone screeches, starts to sweat, jiggles constantly, stutters. Suddenly, Peter started talking really fast. He raced through the speech like he was afraid to stop or breathe. Promises, give soda can dollars to charity, pick up later on school grounds. I waited for Peter to mention T-shirt Tuesday, but he didn't. He just ran off the stage. I heard giggles and whispers. Only a few people clapped. Everyone thought Peter ran away because he was scared. I was pretty sure that he just had to use the bathroom. He drank a lot of water before his speech. Okay, chapter eight was a short one. So click on the next one, uh, on the next one to get to chapter nine.